fucking love Coheed. I love it. Yeah. Coming soon. 2022 yeah. has some really great games, though. Like, 2022 has some really cool st- shit coming out. Hell like, there's a lot to be excited for, especially in the first half of 2022. So, I mean... On top of that, we've got a bunch of new movies and TV shows coming out. First one on our TV show list is Peacemaker, John Cena. I know we, we love to hate and rag on him, but you know what? I can't wait. Peacemaker is such a ridiculous I heard this character. Show. But I heard this fucking yeah. show is incredible, too. I, I heard this show is incredible. I was I was like, I'm not watching this show because I don't fucking care about John Cena or that character. But like, I heard the show was awesome and... I will absolutely watch it. So. It's going to be so stupid. I'm eating my words. Um, I mean, it looks I, so funny. I can't wait to just feel like overwhelmed with just corniness. Just I, we, We've talked about this before. All the different characters and actors in it, they're going to be huge. Uh, the other uh, big one that's recently we've talked about, the Batman coming out only in theater the same day on HBO Max. Um, this looks pretty good. It's Not coming out just, in April on HBO Max, by the way. Like, yeah, it's like 45, 45 days, days right later. After. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, so which is, what's kind of neat for me is they're, tr- they're getting back into like the little like breadcrumbs that movies used to do. I think the last time I had a really good breadcrumb with a movie on a website or something like that was like Jason, the book, the born identity where they had an yeah. entire site where you had to use like Unix commands to even try to like, un- like unearth some of the plot from the movie, that kind of stuff. So there, the end of this latest trailer, the bat and the cat, uh, there was a little bit of, uh, some little crypto, like cryptic little writing from the Riddler, and people figured out that it went to uh, what was a Rata Aldama, the, the bat with wings, or the rat with wings dot com in Spanish. Yeah, but anyway, you go there. There's a series of riddles it with promises of more stuff to come. I'm excited about it already. That just shows at least the marketing's paying attention. Um, the next one, it looks good. It looks so good. That man looks right. so good. I, yeah, I can't wait. Obviously, the next one, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. We're going to get to our, the latest thing we've all seen, at least me and you have. Mahaffey, I'm going to throw those spoiler We're banners We're spoiling. Up when we get Mahaffey's there, but, seen it. Oh, yes. Yeah, Mahaffey's seen it. We are spoiling the shit out of this movie it's gonna today. Have, hey, it's been like weeks, so. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. We are spoiling I this can't movie wait. tonight. Omicron did not touch me in a the theater. I was so happy about it. I legit paid for a ticket. There was 250 capacity, and there was 15 people. And I had a whole row to myself, and it was awesome. Uh, but Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, the trailer dropped at the end of a particular movie. Uh, so it's now on YouTube. You can see all the, the different things. My favorite bit so far is that it, it already shows that it's true. Everything that happened in the What If series on Disney Plus true. is true. Yeah, I knew big it. deal. I knew it. Yeah, dude. <sighs> Seeing evil Doctor Strange, they're calling the thing something else, but it's definitely Shumagorath. I'm not fucking around with that. But yeah, like, yeah. Like I was like, dude, this is fucking. I cannot. Wait. When he was like, they're saying that hand, like, like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yeah, dude, hell yeah, <laughs> so good. Um, it looks so good. And even and and my favorite bit is the fact that people are like so meticulous now with these trailers. They're like freeze framing. Just like the facial trim of, of Doctor Strange, like look, look, the beard is different. His hair is more. The beard and the hair is different here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's three different versions of Doctor Strange. Like, oh, that's the evil one, and that's what he's like talking about to um, to Wanda. He's like, I'm not here about what was the name of the town? Ah, damn it, uh, not some reveal. Westview. Westview. Thank you. Westview. Yeah. Not, yeah. Ple- not Pleasantville either, but we'll get to Tobey Maguire later. Um, you saw what I did there. <laughs> I love Pleasantville, dude. Pleasantville, great movie. Um, next up, Thor, Love and Thunder. I know this is just a montage picture from like a bunch of different things, but I love this. This is a great little wallpaper. And somebody put it together. And thank you very much for it. I mean, I can't wait to see. Did you see that promotional poster no. for it? No, 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 no. Yeah. Should I There's a promotional up? poster for it. Yeah, pull it up. Is it like legit? Like just so that like... you could see it. It, no, it's legit. It's the actual promotional poster for the movie. Uh, it's just the logo? Oh, shit. Yeah. You see Thor, Lady Thor, which I'm like in on. <laughs> Jane, yeah. Jane Foster. Yeah. She's looking jacked, uh, bro. Jane Foster. She's looking jacked. Yo, she looks fucking jacked, dude. I feel, like, I feel like Natalie Portman would get yoked. 
Like she would just. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm really on. happy that she's coming back too. This looks because I know that she did not want to come back. Um. But What's Thor looks scary great. Shit? Dude. Sorry, I just had a uh, creeper in the background because I was too busy looking at pictures of Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman as beefcakes. It looks so good. <laughs> My wife. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm super excited about this movie coming out. Christian Bale. The, like, I feel like there's there's a point where like we're just going to start running out of names that you're like, mm, that's not believable. Like like the whisper I've heard about uh, Doctor Strange is like, oh, there's going to be a a alternate universe of Tony Stark played by Tom Cruise. And I'm like, yeah, mm. Eric Bana's coming back from the Hulk. Chris Evans is coming back as Johnny Storm from the Fantastic Four. Like that movie is going to be so fucking much. insane. If any of that is true, if fucking Michael Fassbender walks out of a portal and talks to Wanda Maximoff, I'm going to die in the theater of a heart attack. Listen, <laughs> it's going to be so good. Listen, <laughs> I'm totally down with all of it. I want it all. Give it to me. My biggest casting rumor that I've been excited about has nothing to do with this movie, but it's all about Fantastic Four. And if it's true, that is it Glenn the, Howerton is, is, is going to be Howerton? Reed Richards. Yeah. Oh my God, that would be so good. If Dennis fucking Reynolds <laughs> from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, <laughs> in Del- Philadelphia is going to be Richards. fucking Reed Richards. Yeah, <laughs> like, I will never be able to look at him the same. Well, granted, you know, it, I, know. I will always just think he's like trying to kill and murder everybody in the room. Like, because that's what... Yeah. You know, like smart Dennis is. It's always like mm-hmm. you know, because of the implication, right? He's always trying to do something sinister. Because of the implication. Versus. Let me tell you what, though. Out. Yeah. The character that <laughs> Christian Bale is playing, Gore the God Butcher, the villain in Thor: yes. Love and Thunder. Is, yes. So Gore the God Butcher had a weapon called All Black, the Necro Sword, which is the it's first like a huge symbiote, scythe, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a. It's like I mean, a. It's, black, it's a. It's essentially a venom. Yeah, and that comes from Null, who's the symbiote god mm-hmm. who created all the symbiotes and cut the head off of a celestial, which became nowhere. If they're like building towards bringing Null into this universe because of what happened, like Eternals talked a little bit about like that, and like you know, um, you have the whole thing at the end of Venom, let there be carnage, as well as the whole thing at fucking end of Spider Man. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> I am super stoked for Christian Bale to be a villain in this movie. And I'm stoked that he's coming back as Gore the God Butcher. This, this is going to be, this will probably, like, granted, I, you can go back and forth. Like, depending on, on how Doctor Strange goes, like, the only thing that would surprise, surprise me with Doctor Strange is if they do actually play up a little bit of, like, some funny comic bookness where, you know, suddenly Doctor Strange is in a universe of, it's actually a DC universe, and Brandon Ralph walks yeah. past him. And then just keeps going as Clark Kent. It was like the whole what if where Mustafar showed up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and what if, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden Darth Vader is just there. He's like, nope, bye bye. And just goes. Um, that would be insane. Then you got Thor, you know, Love and Thunder. That's just going to open up so much more with Secret Wars. And then finally, yeah. actually, not, no, not even finally. And then the next movie. We got like four more things dude, to talk I know, about coming soon. For Marvel. There's so much coming soon. It's all Marvel, dude. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. There's so much already around this film, whether it's people There's leaving. A, this movie's a fucking mess, dude. dude. I hope I <sighs> hope something comes from this. Ryan Coogler deserves so much more. Chadwick Boseman deserves so much more. Black Panther is probably one of the best Marvel movies that have, that have that's ever come out. Uh Michael B. Jordan is Eric Killmonger was incredible. And there's so much drama behind this movie already, whether it's Letitia Wright, whether it's the fact that they might have cast Tena Cuerta yeah. as Namor and he's problematic. Like, I, I don't know, dude. I hope that this movie, I, I hope that it's able to recover and it comes out and it's incredible because they're coming off of a big win from Black Panther and a big win from Civil War and Infinity yeah. War and Endgame. I mean, if and, I'm being... And even Falcon and the Winter Soldier. If I'm being selfish... I mean, truthfully, if I'm being selfish, if if it even feels halfway wiggly as like a, a showrunner, or not a showrunner, like a studio producer, for, as Ryan Coogler, if it feels halfway wiggly with people not just getting in line and being happy and excited. Delay it. it. Delay it. 
delay it. Yeah, delay it, it for two years. Delay it and recast T'Challa. Yeah. Like, I mean, I know that like the whole thing with like they don't want to do it because of Chadwick Boseman, but like right. that character deserves a lot more. I agree. And I don't think anybody's going to be upset, and everybody's calling for that. So I agree. I don't. I don't think it's coming out in 2022, to be honest. I think it no. will get delayed to 2022. I mean, it's already November 11th, 11, 11, 11, 2022. So yeah. uh, Veterans Day, yeah, you're not going to, no. We'll see this in 2023, maybe 2024. Yeah. But you know what we're going to see this year? Yes, October 7th, 2022. We're going to see Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, part one. What a great trailer. I think we talked about this the last episode, yeah. actually. We did, right before our break. It's going to be great. Need we see more. I, it's if you can't really yeah. jack up the first one with this one. I know it's part one. Then you get part two. Like I know it's all the same people are back, even the same song. <laughs> Boom, ching. Sunflower. Uh, that's right. And then of course, look at this guy. Look at this beefcake right here. We get a little bit of Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom. He's going to be coming out on Another December movie 16th, that's 2022. Bullshit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they just replace Amber Heard with, like, I don't know, anybody fucking else? Amelia Clark? Isla I mean, Fisher? Isla, yeah, any redhead. Yeah. Uh, what's Jessica Chastain doing? Right. Bryce Dallas Howard? Yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Um... I bet I bet Nicole Kidman can play both roles, Mira and Atlanta. She's great. <laughs> um, but yeah, Atalanta, I, I, Atalanta. I hope you think it goes well. The next one, I Morbius. Hope so too. Morbius, I think, is going to be probably the funnest one. I could one. give a fuck about this movie now. I, I can give a shit about Jared Leto. I'm uh, I'm stoked about Michael Keaton, and I love the fact that there's too. a poster of potentially. One of our Spider Man being a murderer. Where does this movie take place? When does this movie take place? In what universe does this movie exactly. take place? Because they mentioned Venom. It's Tobey Maguire's Spider Man, and fucking Venom is and fucking uh, and Michael Keaton's in it as Adrian Toomes. Like, when does this movie take place? I feel like a lot of that is definitely like studio being like, we're gonna fuck with some people. Michael Keaton yeah. won't be in it. It'll be a different Spider Man murderer poster. Right. Like, you know, it just Or Michael Keaton's not playing Tombs. He's playing somebody different. Yeah. Like, <laughs> just totally <laughs> just totally fuck with us. Um, but yeah, that, that would be great. And then finally, uh my my personal favorite, just because of somebody we've already mentioned. Yes, I just threw the flash ass up here because it's hilarious. Look look at this picture. He's glowing. You think nobody's gonna notice you, dude? You look like you're walked out of looks, straight up locked out of Tron Legacy. What are you doing? I I'm really excited for Flash. I'm really nervous for Flash because there's a lot of talk about how it's gonna completely erase the current DCEU. There's so yeah. Henry Cavill's gone, Ben Affleck's gone. I mean, is Gal Gadot gone? Even though they're doing Wonder Woman three, you guess. like I. Yeah, I mean, you've, you've got Supergirl replacing Superman in JLA. You've got um, people are even going so far as to look at the Flash cast list on Google and Grant Gust is in it. Um, yeah. Grant, yeah, Grant Gust. Gustin, and then, yeah. And then you've Home got. Hometown hero, homie. Grant B. High, represent. Homie, seven by seven. <laughs> um, but you've got, like, so you've got that out. You've got Michael Keaton choosing Batgirl to be the next Batman, uh, Herbie, JLA, that kind of stuff. So, like, you, granted, I'm okay with whatever they do to shuffle it up. Hell, fucking announce Blue Beetle in the middle of it. I don't give a shit. I'm excited. I'm gonna watch it. Period. I'm gonna watch it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, I hope Michael that... Keaton's in it, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as just... Batman. Ex our Batman. <laughs> as our Batman. As the as shortest our Batman, Batman yes. ever. At five nine. He's also in fucking uh, Batgirl now. He's been mm -hmm. attached to Batgirl as bad as uh, yeah. If if we lose Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill, but we get Michael Keaton as the Batman now, I might be okay with it. Yeah, and my might I will definitely be okay with it. I mean, I love Henry Cavill, but oh, I will take Michael Keaton over Henry Cavill any day of the week. See there, there you go. So I just, my, I just read Matthew's yeah, comment about I, the rumor yeah, that Andrew dead, Garfield is the Spider Man in the universe. I'm be down with that. Andrew Garfield really wants to play Spider-Man more. If it's 
post what our final round's going to be about, that's even better. <laughs> yeah. I would love to see the fact that the murderer is from pre whatever we talked about in the, a little bit here, and that post that is now him trying to redeem himself in some way. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, all right. 